Hello, I'm Richard Emmett, the Program Director of the Blue Ridge Music Center, and I'd like to welcome you to our discussion series, Deep Roots, Many Voices. This series is part of a project by the Blue Ridge Music Center, exploring diversity and inclusion in roots-based music. In this discussion series, we pair two musicians in each episode to talk about issues related to race, ethnicity, and sexual orientation, how these issues have been part of their personal stories, and the importance of celebrating diversity in the music world. These discussions highlight contributions to American roots-based music from the many voices that make up our nation and give us hope for a rich and diverse musical future. The series was coordinated and conceived by Blue Ridge Music Center Associate Director Marianne Kovach, who also moderates these discussions. I hope you enjoy the series. Thank you for joining us. And now here's Marianne to introduce you to our guests. Hello and welcome to Deep Roots Many Voices. I'm Marianne Kovach, the Associate Program Director for the Blue Ridge Music Center. Performer, multi-instrumentalist, historian, researcher, writer, record collector, and founding member of the Carolina Chocolate Drops, Don Flemons has adopted the brand of the American Songster. In his performances, he presents music covering over 100 years of American popular music. Reese Palmer made her debut in Nashville as a country artist in the early 2000s, where she made it onto the country charts and also onto the Opry stage. She has since left Nashville to continue her career as an independent artist and plays her own brand of country, R&B, and soul music in a genre she's dubbed Southern Soul. Reese also has her own radio show on Apple Music called Color Me Country, where she has conversations with country's, country music's underrepresented voices. now we can have conversations about many of these topics but it's amazing that people had to um like i think about an interesting story that i had um that i had heard about uh well for example from mississippi john hurt the great the great blues songster there was a story a friend of mine had told me that he he went to take a picture uh with a lady. There was a lady that spotted him on the street and it was kind of a younger lady, a younger white lady. And she was like, oh, I want to take a picture with you and put an arm around him and went to take a picture. And John had to go out of his way to politely mention to her, I can't take a picture with you with your arm around. Right. And he okay, just mentioned that it's <laughs> nothing about you, but if you take a picture with your arm around me and it gets back to Mississippi, I can't have that implication uh, of that social social discord getting back to my people at home. And it's amazing that so much of this earlier generation, of, of all of the earlier generations had to maneuver this series of social protocols in such a way. It's amazing that, that so much music actually did get out there, even though we've missed a lot along the way. It's, um, you know, it's one of the things that makes me very fortunate uh, to have been born in the time I, I've been born. A lot of people ask me, you know, uh, you're, you seem like an old soul. Don't you wish you were born in a different time? And I say, no, <laughs> you know, to be able to close, be able to look at the history in the book, close that book and assess and take that into the future has been extremely powerful because in a certain way, I can intellectually remove myself from the visceral connection to some things, which again, it's not a cop-out but it allows me to be able to intellectualize and, and be able to um, distill the information into something that an audience that, that's out there may want to hear. And, and they may have questions themselves. I've been surprised at the sort of <coughs> archives have told me because I decided to search it out. I found an extra detail or I found an extra mm -hmm. nugget of information that, that allowed me to uh, expound, expound upon any number of stories. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't yeah, want no, to no, no. This, The current era is just fine. Thank I'm you. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like we, no, like uh, I heard a story. Well, I interviewed um, Joe West talking about his um, parents, Sarge and Shirley West, and they toured with an all white band in 19, like 1968. And mm -hmm um throughout the mid 60s to the early 70s and they primarily did the south mm -hmm. and i mean they couldn't drive in the same car yeah. because they could be arrested in certain places 
And I know that um, I'm, 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 I've been in contact with uh, Linda Martell's family and they're currently working on, her granddaughter is working on a documentary about her life. Mm. And I'm not gonna give it away because it's one of the stories that's in the documentary, but Linda had a very daunting um, experience with her all white band. Mm. And um, so it's, no, I don't wanna, I would not, you know, there are things that we need to change and things that we need to fix. And, and we have a lot farther to go, but I would never say that anything that I've experienced is as hard or as horrifying as some of the things that I've heard about artists from the past. And so I, I don't even pretend to be, um, you know, this superwoman badass that was going to fight people back in the sixties or anything like that. Like I, I can't imagine. I, I'm glad that I don't have to imagine. Yeah. And um, I have nothing but respect and admiration for everyone who took those things, those indignities and and returned grace in the face of it. I, I have nothing but the utmost respect for that. is yawning going to bed you've been busy little sleepy stars are sparkling and the moon is bright everything everywhere is saying good night all is well all is right sweet child close your eyes and say good night Oh, yeah, say goodnight. Mm. Your dreams are waiting, sunny and sweet. Even your teddy bear has gone to sleep. Just one more story, one more page. Then we'll close the book of this wonderful day. All is well. All is right, sweet child, close your eyes and say goodnight.